Researchers at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory are using high-tech methods to see into a titanium alloy enhanced with an optimized heat treatment process. In the end, they've improved the alloy's strength, giving it more boost for potential use in the automotive industry. What we do here is we heat treat it at uh, between 1300 degrees Fahrenheit to 1475 degrees Fahrenheit in order to rearrange the atoms uniformly in the matrix. And then we heat it for specific amounts of time to study how the atoms rearrange themselves. Then you essentially anneal it again at a fairly, uh, fairly lower temperature like 900 degrees Fahrenheit. We call this process as aging process and that is when certain atoms recombine together to form precipitates which give you that enhanced mechanical properties. Specific high temperatures and repeated heating and cooling increases the strength of the titanium alloy with aluminum, vanadium and iron by 10 to 15 percent. This improvement is thanks to information gleaned by sophisticated imaging techniques and equipment. This particular alloy uh, was produced through a low cost process by our industrial collaborators. Once we get the titanium alloy rods, we cut a piece of it and then we mount it and polish it metallographically. So to look at that, we did atom probe tomography, which tells you where the individual atoms are located at a really small length scale. So what we are looking at is how the atoms are distributed. So the bluish regions denote all the uh, titanium and aluminum atoms being segregating to that region and the red and uh, yellow regions uh, are the vanadium and iron atoms. It's these small regions that increase the strength in the alloy. The grouping of atoms at both the nano and micron scales act as a barrier that resists deformation when the material is put under stress, both in the lab and one day on the road. So if you can reduce the weight of the whole car, you can go longer with the same amount of fuel, effectively pushing the fuel economy higher. These kind of low-cost titanium alloys can be a great material that can replace more heavier parts. So that's where this research kind of connects to humanity's goal of trying to depend less on fossil fuel and reduce the CO2 emissions, increasing the fuel economy, all that aspect. So really, it will impact the energy-saving aspects for transportation.